evening, Madam Chair, uh, distinguished members of the committee. My name is Christopher Eide. I represent Teachers United. I'm proud to stand shoulder to shoulder with Kane and Gina, who are up here before, because we all start our conversations with the question, what does this mean for students? Um, we're named Teachers United, but we're not always united. However, on this point, seniority-based layoffs, we are. So we're here tonight to support House Bill 2427. Continuing to base layoff decisions on seniority produces heartbreaking stories like the ones we've heard tonight. And it also produces data that shows that this is bad for students. With all the cutbacks we have, we've had, we hear stories like Kane's every spring. And, 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 uh, and regardless of whether they are uh, brought back or not, the message to teachers is no matter how hard you work for your students, you might still get cut. This is not a motivational sentiment for effective new teachers uh, when, when they regard their profession. Most teachers as well don't think this is a good idea, this particular policy. And uh, just a couple of months ago, 500 teachers were randomly polled in Washington State. A super majority of them said that knowledge, skills, and performance should be placed above seniority. The New Teacher Project surveyed 9,000 teachers in two urban areas, and of teachers with 30 years or more of, a, of seniority, there was still a majority that said we should favor a uh, quality-based approach. Now, last year there was a bill before the legislature that was dismissed because, uh, because we didn't have an evaluation system in place. This bill won't, uh, won't Take, uh, take place until that uh, those evaluation systems are rolled out across the state. We don't see any other reasons why we should continue with this practice. It, teachers support it. It's good for kids. Please make the right decision.